Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, this is a bit of a different sort of style video to um, other ones on this channel. But yeah, a couple of the weeks, ago, I'm not gonna lie, a couple of weeks ago, I put on my story. Um, if anyone had any questions for me to do with like uni and drama school and just general questions, um, and a couple of years um, asked me some, so I'm gonna answer them for you. Um, but yeah, it's just more of a chill video. This one, it's not a vlog. Um, I prefer doing the vlogs as well, but yeah. <coughs> there we go. But it's still weird. My voice is still strange. I think it's the aircon in my room. That thing there. I need to not put it on, but it gets really hot down here. And yeah. But yeah, irrelevant. Um, but yeah, hope everyone is well. And also, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And then you'll know when I upload without having to find me. That made no sense. Just subscribe if you haven't already. Um, okay, let's just crack on with the questions. Here we have. Um, anyway, so yeah. First question we've got is what were auditions like? Um, so, my experience was not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. I, I auditioned for um, Erdan, not I applied for Erdan, Emil Dell Academy, Tari Conti, Bird and Performers, um, and Erdan, did I say that? Um, and my first one was Erdan, and that audition was, it was actually very intense, especially the dance audition was very, very intense. Um, they taught, we did a little ballet thing, um, and we did um, a lyrical contemporary routine, and then we did like an empty commercial jazz one, and it was taught very, very, very fast. You've got to be on the ball. Um, so yeah, the dance is very intense, and the um, singing and acting auditions were literally just like in and out. You went in, you did your monologue, you sang your song, and you came back out. It was just, it was just, as I said, it was very just, you went in, did it, and you walked out. They didn't talk to you. They didn't really like chat to you. They didn't really care. They did. They probably I don't know. But yeah, that's just how I felt. Um, but I still loved it. The building, whatever it is, it was just. It was all like it was insane. And I loved it. I did love it to be honest with you. I came out like really inspired and stuff. Um, and yeah, I managed to get a place there. And then my meal deal academy one. That one was very chill. Um. That was, the dance was nice, it was fun, it was a fun day. They talked to you when you went in for your singing and acting, they talked to you after. That was very chill, and that was the same with Ali Conti. They literally, after the singing, after you did your singing and acting, they literally sat you down and had like a five minute conversation with you, it was great. Um, and then Burn and Forms I didn't actually go to. Um, and then JSA, I did a self tape for it. Um, like, you know, like about this time last year. And they didn't get back to me until about May offering me a recall, and I didn't go to it. Because I was like, I'm not. I already decided I was going to country at that by that time, but they're not. They're not giving me like that many months to then be like. They're not making me wait that long to then be like, oh yeah, we want a recall. Yeah, I don't know. Um. So yeah, that that's auditions. My auditions were like, and I managed to get a place at a dang and meal deal in Conti, so it was great. Next question: How was freshers? Um, Freshers was fun. I vlogged. I vlogged it in like a couple of videos back in this channel. If anyone wants to go watch that, that would be great. Um, Freshers was really fun, especially the first one, which was on a ball party in London. That was brilliant. Um, it was just like it was obviously it was my third day up since like I've moved down, and I was just like, wow, I'm literally living in the middle of London. Um, that was really cringe annoying. Yeah, and then. A couple of them, I'm not going to lie, we did go home a bit early because we were just not really vibing with ourselves. Um, but like the Disney themed one was good, and then the Hollywood style when I was Ken. Um, no, it was all good. Uh, the White Lies party was finished off, so yeah, Freshers was fun. Um, and I met, obviously, I met loads of people and then met all my friends, and everyone's great. And yeah. That was a fun week, but I was just I was just ready to start come teach, you know what I mean? Next question we have, what is your favourite thing about uni right now? I was gonna say but just the whole vibe, um like all my friends that I've met, but jazz performance 
is probably my favourite thing. Um, it's basically just like, yeah, we basically learn a routine and you just got to like, it's focusing on like, the performance aspect of jazz and you're, yeah, just doing like a routine and performing it. But we do jazz tech and jazz elements, which is more like about the technique sides of it. So like, jazz performance sort of brings it together, but like, focuses also on the performance and it's really, really fun. And we've done two routines now and yeah, it's so much fun. But also, I like singing tech because it's basically teaching you how to sing. Especially because this year we're doing a style called Legit, which is songs from pre-1965. And they're very hard to sing like that. They're very, you have to sing them in a specific way. And you're, I mean, he's basically teaching us how to sing like that. And it's, yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lot, which is great. My mum put, do you miss your mum? Nope. <laughs> I'm obviously joking. Yes, I do, mum. She wants me just to say that on YouTube video, isn't she? Next question is, what do you cook for uni meal prep? So, for the past two weeks before this week coming, because it's Sunday right now, the past week I've been having, making my tea the night, the night before, for two people, and then having the one portion of the night, and then having the other half the next day for my dinner. Um, I actually did what I eat in a week, in my previous video, if you want to go watch that. Um, and I'll show you a bit more insight into like how I, meal prep for the next day and but but this week today I just made five pesto mozzarella tomato um chorizo bagels I made five Rotham and Tinfoil so I'm gonna have them for my dinners and then I've just made a lasagna today that'll last a couple of meals next week and then halfway through the week I'll make pasta for the rest of the week. That's what I'm doing this week. So I'm probably meal prepping it because it's such a long yeah, I have such a long hour days and then to come back, I just want to eat really, I just want to eat really fast and then go to bed because it's such a faff having to cook, having, just having to cook every night. I don't want to do it, so I'd rather just meal prep for my teas as well. <sighs> what should I bring to uni when I move in? You should bring all the essentials. That's literally all I can say, really. Just think for your bedroom, think all the essentials, bring some decoration. I've got fairy lights and stuff um, I've got a lamp there I've got some frames um, I just ruined my setup bed and um, clothes hangers and then for like the bathroom you can get kind of clean and stuff get like obviously toothbrush skincare shampoos everything like that um, and then for the kitchen just think everything essential like all your utensils Cup, I get two saucepans and uh, like a frying pan, that's like two like, saucepans and then I get a big fry pan in case you want to make like just like nice new food where you need lots of pans for. Um, obviously knives and forks, Tupperware if you want to take me up prep, definitely Tupperware. Yeah, it is on your dish if you want to make stuff like that because mine's great. Any advice for auditions? Um, I'm just going to be basic here and say be yourself. <laughs> wow. Um, but um, enjoy yourself especially when you do like a jazz routine or commercial or musical theory routine whatever have fun don't deep it too much obviously take it serious but don't take it too serious where like you're not performing on your face <laughs> do you know what I mean? uh, or if it's uh, done. Okay. box jump anyways that's for my dance wise for ballet as well, just smile, um, even if you do it wrong like me. Uh, for singing and acting your monologues and your songs, make sure you know everything, like the context about it. Make sure you know what you're singing about. Um, the inside and out, especially with the monologues, make sure you know the play. Make sure you know what's happened before the monologue. Um, your intention, talking to, stuff like that. And same with your song. They, did, they asked a couple of questions of mine and they probably as well ask you questions about it. Um, except her time because they couldn't give a shit. What's your favourite thing about your flatmates? Do you like your flatmates? No, I don't like any of you. <laughs> did you find it hard moving away from home? Um, yeah, I did. Um, at first, especially when my mum left my room, I was like, literally bawling my eyes out because it's you know it's such a big thing especially how far away I am from London um it just took a while to feel I don't know feel settled but I'm settled now so I don't have anything to worry about um 
It's only because obviously I've never moved away, obviously, um, and I get serious ball. More. But anyways, but you do get used to it, by the way, and you do get settled in. Eventually, just it just takes a couple of days or weeks, whatever. But you're fine. Just think, why? Like I'm here too, to, like for my career. Do you know what I mean? Um, and yeah. But I'm just living such a different life than how I was like a month ago. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> Anyways, next question. What were you worried about before drama school? Everything. I haven't got anxiety, but I'm a very anxious person and where like when something's happening, I'll worry about everything, like everything. I was worried about meeting friends, if I like the course, like every lesson, if like, if I like get here, if like, do you know what I mean? Just everything. I was worried about everything. Flatmates, um, just yeah, everything you can think of to worry about. I was worried about it. What's your fifth scran? Lasagna. You can't beat lasagna, I'm sorry. And garlic bread and a bit of less. So I've just had my teeth today. <laughs> or steak, I love steak, but I've not actually made that yet. Wouldn't have that to my list for next week. <laughs> Anyways, coming up to the last couple of the questions. Oh, another question, what's your favorite meal to make? Lasagna, I love making lasagna. Um, what have I also made? Just like pasta like that, chicken curry, basic shit. Another question, has London been expensive so far? Miss you, kiss, 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 kiss. I miss you too. Um, mm, not really, not really. I mean, the shops are the same. Aldi's still, Aldi's still very cheap down here. I heard £28 yesterday. Very big job. Drinks-wise, is, drinks-wise, not too bad. I went to a nightclub last night and it was like £7 for a, a double pink gin and lemonade. That's not bad. I don't know whether this was right, but I paid £13.50 for a kebab last night. He definitely... But obviously I was drunk so I didn't even think about it. Um but you definitely meant to put three pound fifty, didn't you? Well I'm not, I'm never ever paying that much again. I need to like not be as drunk so I can process how much I'm spending my money. That could have easily been £130, do you know what I mean? Last weekend I went into London with my friends Emma and Molly and we went to see Wicked and then after we went to this rooftop bar and we paid ten pounds for apple spritz, which is similar to like we you put here for apple spritz anywhere in the world. So not too bad as I thought it would be. I'm fence a lot, but well, that's fine. That's something that's expensive and it's fine. How are you finding it, love heart? Um, I love it. Um, like, here's my, my lanyard. My headshot's horrible. I love it. Like, it's, it's very, like, Intense because I've never trained full time musical theatre because I was at sixth form before this. Um, but like, it's just like what I used to do one, one, one day a week, one night a week for three hours a week is now like 30 hours a week. It's it's crazy, but I'm absolutely loving it and it's everything I'm more that I thought it would be. And like, everyone just everyone's so nice. And, Life is pretty great, but like today I was having a bad day, like missing home and stuff, but it's bound to happen. But I haven't really missed home for a little while, so it just hits me every now and then, which is fine. I can deal with that. But like, especially today, I was thinking like, my life's never going to be the same at home anymore because I won't be like, I'm not going, I'm like, it's almost like I'm visiting home, do you know what I mean? When will you put Yorkshire puddings on your Christmas dinner? Never. Yorkshire puddings do not deserve on a Christmas dinner. Do not, should not be on a Christmas dinner, full stop. Listen, I like Yorkshire pudding there on a Sunday roast and not a Christmas dinner. Boom. This is a good question. Do you need notebooks and things like pens for your course? Yep. I think that answers that question, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I didn't expect it to like, actually need that much stuff, but yeah, every lesson. This is my little bit. This book is for acting through song, singing, and acting. Pencil case, oops, this is my my label. How good is that? Yeah, this is a diary. This has got just like sheets and stuff in. This is my play that I'm doing at acting. And this is for musical theatre, jazz, commercial and contemporary. And then this is my rep folder. Thanks Paola for the recommendation for this. It's like leather, it's got like all my rep in there. Um, oh my dance teacher back back home just put are you missing me yes I am 
I was actually thinking about your dance classes the other day because it just took a lesson that we did. It was like I already, I was tech, I was already told you this the other day, but um, the class really reminded me of the dance classes that we used to do at half four till five forty-five on a Wednesday night. <laughs> but yeah, I am. But when we're back home, I'm sure it will all meet up and stuff. And yeah. Um, final question. Oh, I feel like I'm losing my voice every time I. I talk to the camera. Do you feel pressured when auditioning for drama school or was it an easy going thing? Um, it wasn't an easy going thing um, because all the preparation and I, I just like all the nerves and just everything that was building up towards it to prepare was, was not easy. Um, I felt a little bit pressured in Erdang, especially the dance because that was just so intense. Um, but I didn't feel pressured at Emil Dill and Tolly Conti because um, I feel like I wouldn't actually want to go to a school if I felt pressured and stuff. Um, during it, but no, I didn't. Re I didn't feel pressured, but it wasn't an easy going thing either. Um, but like, oh my god, I couldn't do down the school editions again um, because yeah, I just wouldn't want to go through it again. But I'm, I'll be going through tons of friggin' auditions in the future, so that's great. Anyways, like we're done. That is all the questions answered. Um, if you ask me a question, thank you very much for that. Um, I appreciate that a lot because you've given me a video to film. And yeah, obviously it's a different video to what people probably prefer. I prefer filming vlogs as well, don't worry. But yeah, just give me any recommendations. I might film a, like a weekend of like vlog in London or something. So I think I'm meeting Molly again next weekend. Um, just for going out of London and stuff because I live down here, so why not? Just before I go back up north for half term the week after. Um, yeah, two more weeks and then I'm back up north for half term for a week. So that's exciting. Um, thanks for watching. Give it a like if you liked it, if you, anything interested you. And if you have any more questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Or just text me on Instagram or whatever. I'll 9.99 times out of 10 will apply to you because I just will. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.